Despite the coronavirus crisis, the Easter Bunny is still on the job and getting a jump on the holiday visiting homes in Auburn. In a time without a lot of celebration, this visit is making people of all ages happy. I thought you were going to say hoppy instead of happy. I was going to, but then I thought one pun was enough. <laughs> the Easter Bunny doesn't do interviews, but we found his helpers who do. It started earlier this week under the cover of darkness. Doorbell video like this going viral in Auburn as the Easter Bunny leaves baskets and eggs all over town. I think the Easter Bunny is one of the coolest guys ever. Darcy Cook and her family, who apparently know the Easter Bunny quite well, organized the rabbit's visit and have eagerly volunteered to be his helpers. Their home has become the Bunny's North Pole, so to speak, perfect for creating customized baskets and preparing Easter eggs. A lot of families needed a little bit more loving, and with all the kids being out of school and social distancing, we thought it would be a great way for people to smile and bring some joy. To get around town, the bunny turned to Paul Landry as chauffeur. Bunnies don't drive. Um, you know, it, the feet are just too big for the pedals. The Easter Bunny, along with Peter Cottontail, visited the Farrell family today much to the delight of their kids. The Easter Bunny came. It was awesome. Thank you. During, you know, tough times like this with the virus going around, it's really nice to have everybody come together. And it's unbelievable what a simple gesture of love and kindness and, a, you know, a heart and a bunny putting eggs on someone's lawn that has changed everything. And tomorrow, the Easter Bunny really has his work cut out for him. He'll be on a tour in Auburn starting at 9 a.m., so it's going to be quite a busy day. Yeah, you know, my son asked, is the Easter Bunny coming this year? And I said, I think so, and yeah. I think that's just further proof that he'll be coming, and it should be a nice weekend. Essential worker. Yeah. Definitely. Let's bring in Eric. <laughs>